right now on Five on Your Side at 10. An accused cop killer found guilty. It is a form of closure. Not the closure that I seek but it's still one that I would accept. Tonight, emotional reaction from the fallen officer's family just moments after that verdict was handed down. Rain and thunder rolling across the greater St. Louis area tonight. We're tracking a flood advisory right now and updating the weekend rain chances. The ice cream cone and the hot dog bun. Tonight, our Verify team digs into tasty tales from the 1904 World's Fair. First tonight, rain and storms are moving through the bi-state right now, and it could make for a noisy night. Good evening, I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Kelly Jackson. The good news, though, these storms shouldn't turn severe. Let's get straight over to Chief Meteorologist Scott Connell with the weather first forecast. Yeah, severe weather is not expected, but we have had some rumbles of thunder, and boy, has it poured tonight around the metro area. We told you that rain was coming in after 7 o'clock, and it was right on schedule starting in 7.38, and then between 8.30 and 9, we really picked up the heavy rain right here across Metro St. Louis. And so you have a flood advisory until 1145. That does include a good chunk of the city, especially going down towards South City, towards Lee May, heading down towards Arnold. Here's where the rain is right now. And again, waves of heavier rain moving through. It's actually let up in intensity some from what we were looking at earlier, but this is still moderate rain in and around St. Louis. We're up to 9400s in the rain bucket over at Cahokia Heights at Parks Airport. That's just in the last couple of three hours. So again, for the next hour or two, this rain is going to continue around the St. Louis area, and we will watch as this slides on to the north. Along 270 here in Madison County, you've picked up some of the heavier rain. It started to pick back up into St. Charles County, but it is lifting more towards the north. Cold fronts coming in from the west. Once that cold front scoots on through, then we'll start to see things settle down. That's probably going to be just before daybreak tomorrow morning. So some minor flooding issues to deal with over the next couple of hours, Kelly. All right, Scott, and remember, you can get the latest weather first forecast anytime on KSDK.com and the Five on Your Side app. Just text the word weather to 314-425-5355, and we'll send it straight to your phone. About 90 minutes ago, Illinois Route 159 was reopened in Swansea following a deadly crash. The three-car wreck happened around 530 tonight on 159 near Parkway Place. We just got off the phone with the Swansea police chief who confirms one person was killed in that crash. One person was airlifted to a St. Louis hospital. Two others were taken to a hospital in the Metro East. The crash remains under investigation. Tonight, Thomas Kinworthy faces life in prison after a jury found him guilty of murdering a police officer. Kinworthy killed St. Louis police officer Tamara Spohannon while he was responding to a home break in in 2020. Brent Solomon is live outside the courtroom where just hours ago the jury reached its verdict. Yeah, we brought you that verdict live on our air as it was happening. Now, new tonight, Officer Bohannon's father relieved and reacting. He's glad that the jury did not buy the defense's argument that the killer suffered from a mental defect. Watch Thomas Kinworthy's expressionless face in court Thursday before the verdict. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty. The same Our afterwards as he calmly walks past the family of the St. Louis police officer he murdered. This has been a long road for us. It's not been easy. Officer Tamaris Bohannon's father speaking immediately after the jury found Kenworthy guilty of nine counts. It is a form of closure. Not the closure that I seek, but it's still one that I would accept. Back in 2020, Kenworthy broke into a home in Tower Grove, ordered the couple who lives there out of the home, and then shot the two officers who responded. One officer survived. Bohannon did not. It took the jury three hours Thursday to arrive at its decision. A violent criminal is now facing the sentence that is appropriate which is a sentence of spending the rest of his life in prison. Bohannon leaves behind a wife and three children. Now his father is sending a message of support to those who go to work every day to protect and serve. And I want to say to all the officers that are out there today, I want to thank you for putting that uniform on every day. And I want to thank you for supporting us here in this city 
for defending us, keeping us safe, being there for us when we need you. This trial lasted for eight days. Right after it ended, Police Chief Robert Tracy sent an internal memo to his officers thanking them for their service and saying that justice is now served and a somber reminder of someone who paid the ultimate sacrifice. A judge will sentence Kenworthy next month. Live in St. Louis, Brent Solomon, five on your side. New information tonight about the large gathering of protesters, pro-Palestinian protesters on the campus of St. Louis University. No arrests were reported during the rally. However, Five on Your Side has obtained video showing a fight between two students after the gathering. Witnesses tell us it involved a student carrying an Israeli flag and a pro-Palestinian protester. SLU's Department of Public Safety confirms officers quickly intervened. Neither student was seriously hurt. The Office of Student Responsibility and Community Standards is now looking into the matter. Tonight, a St. Louis County teenager is charged as an adult in connection with more than 50 crimes. He is accused of committing a year-long spree of car break-ins and more. Five on your side's Robert Townsend spent the day looking into the disturbing case, Robert. Indeed, Kelly and Mike. Wynell Carter now has a mugshot and a long list of charges behind his name. This case has left concerned community leaders shaking their heads. Court documents reveal startling allegations against 17-year-old Juanel Carter. According to a probable cause statement, between June of 2022 and June of 2023, the teen reportedly broke various windows on numerous cars throughout the St. Louis County region. Investigators say he then stole numerous purses, credit cards, firearms, and several motor vehicles at various locations. Prosecutors charged the teen as an adult, slapping him with 53 felonies, including first-degree property damage, stealing a motor vehicle, and burglary. Oh, I'm sad when I see that because I go into the juvenile detention centers every week to mentor the youth, and I talk to them about my mistakes. In 2022, Bobby Bostic was released from prison after serving 27 years of what was supposed to be a 241-year sentence. Bostic was behind bars for his role in an armed robbery he committed when he was 16 years old. He's written books about his experiences. Well, I was a child when I committed my crime, but we were certified as adults. In hopes of reaching troubled teens early before they turn to violence and crime. I try to teach them how to write business plans because a lot of crime comes from property. And a lot of um, that crime that they commit, it leads to serious consequences. The person has to be willing themselves to accept the responsibility of change. Four years ago, Eric Barber started a community-based program called Common Goals and Minds. One of the nonprofit's goals is to keep boys 14 and up on the right track. We should have someone advocating, stepping up, trying to steer them in the right direction. Police arrested Carter while he was driving a stolen car with several of the stolen items inside. Carter was booked at the St. Louis County Jail. If he posts bond, a judge ordered he must wear a GPS monitoring device. New information tonight about the resignation of the superintendent of Wentzville Schools. Tomorrow, Danielle Tromala will receive a nearly half million dollar payment from the district. Altogether, she will be paid more than a million dollars by June 30th. Five on your side obtained her separation agreement with the district through Missouri Sunshine Law. Last month, she took a sabbatical and submitted her resignation after receiving several threats. As part of the settlement to buy out the last three years of her contract, Tramala has agreed not to sue the district. The community is being asked to come out tomorrow to honor a fallen Marine from St. Charles County. The body of Sergeant Colin Arslanbus will arrive at St. Louis Lambert International Airport around 1230. The 22-year-old Fort Zumwalt West grad was killed during a training mission in North Carolina. The public is invited to line the procession route to show support to Sergeant Arslanbus and his family. The route is along Interstate 70 between the airport and Bowie Cave Springs. Drivers should be aware that portions of the interstate will be closed between 1 and 2 tomorrow afternoon. Tonight on North County Tradition is back. The Valley of the Flowers Festival returned to the streets of Florissant. It kicked off the festivities with Family Night. 
A full weekend of activities will take place at two different sites. Five in your side's Laura Barcheski takes us to the fairgrounds in Old Town Florissant. We are sliding into the 62nd year of the Florissant Valley of Flowers Festival, where generations of families have been making memories. I've been doing this for 45 years, and over time, you watch the little ones become big ones, and their little ones become big ones, and you see them coming back for more. It's a blast from the past, but it's nice to be able to bring your family and do the same thing that you did growing up. The Valley of Flowers Festival started in the early 1960s. It started out as a gardening club, and they wanted to beautify Florissant, and they thought, well, why not have a festival flower festival around it? And it keeps growing. There are more rides and vendors this year, especially for families with little kids. You have fun in the Magic House, though, with the uh, Meru. Yeah, and I got out and got a swing. Having my son right here, I got to show him a good time, you know, let him know this is what you do as a kid, you know. Yeah. Some of us didn't get that growing up, so I'm trying to make those memories. It's awesome. They love it. This is family night. It and is. yeah, it it's a great event. It is. Beautiful night. Um, this is our first time doing the family night. Mike Kubiak with the Knights of Columbus says it took a while to get the festival back to full strength after the pandemic and even flooding in the area. When we had the 500 year flood, it did. It actually flooded our the lower level of our building out. Everything up here is higher than the flood actually reached. But the mission behind the whole weekend is still the same. For this venue, for the Knights of Columbus, allows us to raise money for our, all of our charity activity. So any of the profits go to charity. It's not going into some other activity like that. Reporting in Florissant, Laura Barteski, Five on Your Side. The festival goes all weekend, and the Five on Your Side team will be there on Sunday with the Five Plus Live Bus in the Grand Parade. And it will end with the crowning of a queen. We'll have more details on KSDK.com. And right now, lines are open for our mental health phone bank. Project 5 is once again teaming up with Behavioral Health Response. You can call for any mental health support through 1030 tonight, the end of this newscast. Just dial 988 or text BE HEARD with just the letter B to 31658. Farewell to the Chief. The big thing is we reassure them that their financial worries are gone. He's the backbone to backstoppers, helping families of fallen officers. Tonight he shares his plans to call it a career for a second time. St. Louis Fair or Folklore? Tonight our Verify team takes a big bite out of claims some food favorites were invented here at the 1904 World's Fair. Downpours continue around the metro area, but the severe weather stayed in Texas this evening. When this batch of rain moves out and the changes in our forecast to the weekend storm chances.